It all has to do with sound waves. A sound wave is a cycle of condensation and rarefaction of air pressure. This is a diagram representing the pressure in air. The condensed regions are known as condensation. The spread out regions are known as rarefaction. These are caused due to vibrations in the air that spread out particles in certain areas and group them together in other areas. Sound waves are able to travel through all kinds of mediums, gases, liquids, and solids. They travel the fastest through solids, slightly slower in liquids, and the slowest in gases. Although they are able to travel through any mediums, they are not able to travel through vacuums or in space because there are no particles to create condensation or rarefaction. So how do we perceive these vibrations into sound? Sound waves travel through our ear, initially hitting the outer ear, then traveling through the ear canal until it hits the eardrum. When sound waves hit the eardrum, they are amplified by 2.3 decibels. As the vibrations go into our ear, it triggers chemicals that travel from nerve fibers into our auditory nerve pathway. When it breaches the auditory nerve pathway, the place theory is put into effect. Waves with higher frequency react earlier, making them more audible, while lower frequencies travel deeper into our ears, making them harder to hear. This is how we perceive sound. The way a bass produces sound is by plucking or bowing a string. When plucking, the finger grips the string and then releases, causing a movement in the string. This then emits vibrations into the air, which are amplified by the hollow body of the bass. These vibrations, or sound waves, then travel to our ears and are processed by our brains to hear pitches. The bass has the lowest sounding pitch in a stringed orchestra. This is because the frequency of the vibrations is lower than the wavelength of the strings is longer. Frequency is the number of waves that pass a given point per second, and wavelength is the length of a single wave. A higher frequency results in a higher pitch, and a longer wavelength results in a lower pitch. The way the strings on a stringed instrument vibrate creates standing waves. Standing waves occur when transmitted waves interfere with reflected waves. When visualizing a standing wave, it appears as though some parts of the wave continuously move up and down, while other parts don't move at all. The parts of a standing wave that move the most are called the antinodes, and the unmoving parts are called the nodes. In this picture, there are three antinodes and four nodes. The significance of standing waves will be later explained when mentioning harmonics. The bass produces the lowest pitch of an orchestra. It has the largest body and the thickest strings. Due to the size of these strings, the vibrations they emit are large and slow. Now to see more in this diagram. Suppose a sound wave of a bass look like this. The sound wave of the rest of the orchestra would have a higher frequency and a smaller wavelength, like this. When bowing, the horsehair grips the string, acting similarly to the grip of a finger. The bow is made up of tightly pulled horsehair. String instrument players use rosin, a substance made of tree resin, to make the horsehair sticky. When players bow a string, the sticky horsehair pulls and releases the string. When done continuously, it results in continuous vibrations, therefore creating continuous sound. Another component of sound waves is amplitude. The amplitude is the distance between equilibrium and the crest or trough of the wave. Amplitude corresponds with the loudness of the sound being produced. A larger amplitude means the sound is louder, while a smaller amplitude means the sound is quieter. The loudness of this sound is determined by the amplitude of the sound waves produced. A larger amplitude creates a louder sound, while a smaller amplitude means a quieter sound. Amplitude can be controlled by the bow speed and bow weight on a string. In other words, force determines loudness. When using more force on a string, it creates a louder sound. When using less force, it creates a quieter sound. The speed of a wave can be represented by these two equations, and when substituting, you can see that frequency is related to the tensional force, the mass, and length of a string. 
As the tension gets higher, so does their frequency, which results in a higher pitch. When the mass of a string and the length of a string get larger, the frequency gets lower, which results in a lower pitch. Because the bass has the longest and most mass of strings, it has the lowest pitch in a stringed orchestra. Each of these variables can be manipulated by the bass. Tension can be altered by using the tuning pegs, which tighten and loosen the string. The mass is determined by the type of string being used. The thicker strings create a lower frequency than the thinner ones. Length can be altered by placing a finger on the fingerboard. Placing a finger on the fingerboard shortens the string, therefore creating a higher pitch. Like other string instruments can produce sounds known as harmonics. Harmonics are created by lightly pressing down the finger where a note exists. Unlike normal pitches, which are created by pressing down the string and forcing a note. Dozens of harmonics exist, which can be put together to create a musical composition. When a stringed instrument player uses a harmonic, they use notes on a standing wave. When the note is lightly pressed, the pattern of the standing wave isn't disturbed. Rather, the vibrations are prevented from going down the rest of the string. When players lightly press on a string on a note, a nice sound can still be produced. When playing in an orchestra, chords are vital to the sound of the piece. Chords are produced by combining different pitches into either consonant chords or dissonant chords. Consonant chords are ones that are pleasing to the ear, while dissonant chords are uncomfortable to listen to. Consonance is achieved when two notes fuse together nicely. They fuse together nicely when the harmonic value of each note is close together. Dissonance happens when the frequencies of the harmonics are too far apart to fuse nicely. Stringed instrument players tune their strings by comparing the sounds to strings produced to a pure tone, which is a tone that does not vary in pitch, such as this. Musical instruments don't produce pure tones, but rather melodic tones with smooth variations. Vibrato is a technique used by musicians where the hand rocks slightly back and forth in order to create a melodic tone, such as this, rather than this. The use of vibrato is pleasing to the ear because it creates an interesting, varying tone. The equivalent to vibrato is when a speaker puts influx in his voice to captivate the audience, rather than speaking in monotone. Our brains are more interested in change and variation than in pure tones, allowing musicians to keep the interest of the audience with the use of vibrato.